Fat to Robish Sachik after school hub is Misha Moonsar Kleena. Now, that's enough of that. As it is a spooky time of the year, we're going to be making a spider's web, a whaling. So what you're going to need is a paper plate, some pipe cleaners, a pom-pom or something like that, uh, scissors, stapler, thread, and uh, some wool. Okay, first we're going to cut out our paper plate. We're going to cut the inside out so we have a circular frame to work from. And remember, if you're using a scissors, to always make sure that there's a grown-up around to give you a hand. So I'm just kind of following the grooves of the plate. So I have a nice enough circle. Um, nearly there. Now, there we go. Next, I'm gonna put some nicks on the outside of the plate with some scissors so the wool will stick. So let's see, I'm gonna just do a little bit here. I don't wanna cut in too far. So let's see, another one here, another one here. They don't have to be even, because if you go and have a look at a spider's web, they're not exactly even, they're absolutely beautiful, but they're not 100% um, symmetrical or even, the same all around. So, nick, 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 nick. And I'm back to my original nick. Now, I am going to weave wool around the nicks of the frame. I'm just gonna tie one knot to get us started. So I'm putting the wool into the nick on the plate, if you can see, so it's going to stay, it's not gonna slide around on me. So I'm just gonna tie that and I can clean up any extra little pieces of wool at the end with my scissors just to tidy it up. Now, so there I have it, my first is attached. So I'm going to go opposite and I'm gonna weave it around. Now, you need to have a lot of space to do this. Let's see, there's my other nick. And then I'm going to weave that around there. So I'm actually going to go to the next nick. I'm actually just going to stay on the same side and I'm going to slot it in there and I'm going to pull it through and I'm going to go across the way and I'm going to wrap that around and I'm going to go into my next nick and I'm going to go across the way again and I'm going to wind it around and I'm going to go to another nick. I'm actually going to go back into the same one and then I'm going to go into a nick over here. And I think we can just do one more and I think that's pretty good. And then we're actually going to start our weaving because we've done a bit of a frame for our spider's web but now it's time for us to do our weaving. And I'm just going to pull it tight and I'm going to cut off the excess. Fabulous. So you can see I have kind of what looks like a wheel when I pull it all in together. So next I need to take another big long piece of string because it's time for us to do the rest of the weaving. So I'm going to get my string and I'm going to tie all these pieces together to make it look like the spokes on a bike so that we have we can weave in and out. I'm just going to tie that tight like that in the middle cut it off the extra and I'm going to start going in and out. So I'm just going to wind it around this one here to get us started and, and then once we're off we're off. Now so you can see I wind it around each piece of string. Now can you see it's starting to look like a spider's web and I wouldn't mind if a lovely little spider decided to come and live with it. Spiders are such lovely little creatures and I know a lot of people are afraid of them but actually people used to call spiders, well I still call them this anyway, the housekeeper's helper because they help us out in lots of different ways by catching flies that go around because flies can be very dirty and we don't want them touching our food so I always welcome spiders in my house. If you come to my house you'd see I have spiders in every single room, I don't mind them, they won't bother you if you don't bother them. That's always the rule with spiders. So there we have it, that's our spider's web. So our spider's web is done. So next we're very quickly going to make our spider. I have some black little furry pipe cleaners here. One, two, three, four. How many legs has a spider? 
eight. I'm going to staple them like that so that there will be four on one side and four on the other. Let me hold that up like that so we can see the legs. And what I'm going to use is a stapler. And if you're using a stapler, make sure that you ask somebody for help. Stapler, the last thing we want to do is staple our fingers. Now here, I'm just going to up and lovely. So I have my spider's legs and I'm kind of going to curl them down like that. Um, so it kind of looks like the spider is walking. Now, the three cahar. And I've got my little black pom-pom, which is going to be my spider. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm not going to staple it on because pom-poms probably won't take a staple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of black string. And I'm going to tie it around the pom-pom and tighten it. Now, and look, so I have it tied onto my pom-pom. What I'm simply going to do is just tie this onto the legs. So I'm going to pop the legs upside down like that. I'm going to tie this like that. And there we go. And I'm going to cut off the extra string. And here I have my little spider made. And he can sit on his little web, or her little web. Now, and there we have it. That is our lovely little web and our lovely little spider that's living in it. And remember, spiders are our friends, so please be very kind to them. So let us know how you're getting on. Send us in your photos, your videos, anything you have of some of your Halloween decorations or whatever it is you're getting up to at this time of the year. Slong!